So today, we are in Dream Play in City of Dreams. Let's go! A few minutes later. minutes later
Okay, my experience was for the steps. I almost didn't make the last one. I almost decided to just fall down and uh, don't try. But I went up to the second one. I stood straight. I got, I was so scared. Like uh, I almost, I felt like I got a heart attack or a panic attack. And when I when I went there and then I jumped, it feels so fun. That's just letting it down. And then for the big jump, this one, I don't know what it's called, but one of the dragons with the big step, the big step. Ah, I, I, I also wanted to go jump down. I didn't want to jump down, so I, you can say that I, 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 it took me at least five minutes just trying to get down on, on my own. And when I, I went down, I felt I had a heart attack almost. I, I was so scared but I recommend it because it's something to face your fears and it makes you feel more accomplished when you try it okay so I give those two a very big planet attack I'm, I'm almost I'm kind of shaking Ooh. okay you know what let's go on to the next activity let's not waste any more time Of course, there was second level. And it felt it felt much less scary than the other one. So I was happy. It was shaking, but I got through it and I faced my fear. Uh, my favorite one is when I went into the tunnel because it's the boat. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go try a uh, float your boat. Okay.
OMG, so where's my food? Um, um, I already chopped his head off. Oops. But tastes amaz amazing. Oh, okay, so we're gonna go eat some lunch first. So first we did the rolling pin, and there were like group photos. What else? Mm, there, there were a lot of children, not my age. <laughs> but honestly, I'm hungry, that's why I'm eating. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have some lunch. I, I don't know what that character is from Kung Fu Panda, but I think it's not cold, it's cold. You know what, I'm just happy.
back from dream play so I'm very tired but let me give you some tips tip number one come in as early as 11 a.m. so when you come in at 11 a.m. the line is shorter but if you come in the afternoon it's longer so I recommend coming in early like at 11 a.m. and uh, do the optical courses first because if you do the optical courses first it's less crowded I wanted to do rock climbing again but when we went back to rock climbing it was so long already so I recommend during the do the obstacle courses first and the ones that require a lot of strength and energy because I did the thread of enlightenment and which is the last activities I did and I was so tired already so I gave up I practically just gave up and let's move on to tip number two tip number two uh, after you get your ticket or you go in go straight to cooking with Gingy and secure a slot so they only allow 12 persons at a time my schedule was at 12 p.m. so I did a few things and then I, I went straight to cooking with Gingy honestly it was so fun I cooked I baked it was great um, just make sure you secure a slot because if you secure a slot it's much easier because you just have to go walk in they will call your name so yeah I guess that's pretty much it let's go on to tip number three tip number three wear comfortable clothes if you wear comfortable clothes it's you know more comfy it feels much easier to move around when you're comfy and if but if you're not wearing something if you're wearing uncomfy, uh, uncom bleh, uncomfy, <laughs> uncomfortable clothes, you will not feel nice. So I recommend just wearing leggings, a regular shirt, and rubber shoes and socks. Because if you have like socks, sometimes they ask you to remove your shoes. And uh, you need to be wearing socks for that so your feet don't get dirty. So yeah, I also recommend wearing socks. Let's get on to tip number four. Tip number four, there are only certain uh, areas where participants can go in. So if your parent plans to join you, they have to get the participant's ticket, which costs 1,500 pesos. And for the non-participant, it costs 350 pesos. And the, the wristband for the participant is a poppy, a poppy wristband, which is pink. And for the non-participants, it's just a yellow band. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for tip number four. Let's move on to tip number five. Tip number five. Consider going to other restaurants than the one inside because the food was so-so. We had pizza and fish and french fries. The, the pizza was okay. It was very doughy though. <laughs> very doughy and then the fish and fries they were good I like their fries they're pretty good uh, for the fish it was very soft you can pick it you can pick it pick it up with a fork so I just used my hand I wish I think we were recording during that time maybe there's a clip later that will show that we were eating if maybe if there is if there is <laughs> so yeah that's pretty much all the tips so yeah that's basically it if you like this video please consider subscribing because that helps a lot and um, give a like on this video don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a new upload bye guys till next time